I hope today's find you in good spirits. I hope that you're having a wonderful time in your devotional time and just private time with God. We want to come before you today and ask you, where is your treasure? Today we're going to share and teach from the book of St. Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, starting at verse 1. Let's read in the word of the Lord. It said, take heed that you do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, or when thou give, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou dost alms, or when you give, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thine arms may be in secret. Now I want to pause there for a moment. Let what you do be secret. Very key. This is the key point. The reason being is because God seeth in secret. Put, that, put a pin in that thought. God seeth in secret. So whatever you do, do it in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret himself, only God, shall reward thee openly. God seeth in secret. The Bible says that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth, beholding the good as well as the evil. God seeth in secret. God seeth in secret. Keep that in mind. God seeth in secret. Uh, there's nothing hit by God. You know how somebody said, man, you got by me. You know, I didn't see that coming. Or, man, that, that caught me off God. Nothing kept, get, gets God off God. Nothing catches God off God. You, you can't fool God. You can't get around God. I used to hear the old saying say, he's so high, you can't go over him. He's so low, you can't go under him. He's so wide, you can't go around him. You can't hide from him. I think David said, if I take the wings of the morning, thou art there. He said, if, 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 I, uh, if I go to the depths of the ocean, you're there. If I go, make my bed in hell, David said, thou art there. God is everywhere. Not only is he everywhere, he's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. His eyes go to and fro throughout the earth, beholding the good as well as the evil. So God that seeth in secret, the God that lives in secret, when we give alms or when we're doing something good, it don't have to necessarily be money, but he's talking about giving. He's talking about sowing. The, 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 the whole, uh, I guess, premise here is that whatever you do, don't do it to be seen. Let's keep reading. Let's, let's keep reading. He said, verse 5, he said, now when thou prayest, Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites. He's talking about religious folk. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street, in the marketplace, that they may be seen of men. He said, very last say unto you that they have their reward. He said, don't be like the hypocrite. Don't be like religious people who do things religiously to be religiously seen. And if they, you know, if, they get, if you get the praise of men, I want to, I want to say this to you also. If you're seeking the the, the approval or the, uh, you're seeking to be praised of men, then you have your reward. If you're seeking the acknowledgement or the affirmation of men, and you're not seeking the affirmation of God, you have your reward. But if you're seeking God's approval, if you're seeking to please God and not man, then God's going to reward you. Listen to what it says now. He says. For they have their reward. Verse 6. But thou, you, when you pray, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut the door, close the door, pray to thy father 
which is in secret. Always keep that in mind. God sees, God hears, and God knows. He's in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward you openly. Wow. What a revelation. What you do in secret, God takes note. What you do for people without anyone knowing. When you bless someone, encourage someone, uh, slide them some money, or, or just do a kind deed. Not to be seen, not to be noticed. There are many people, there are people that we know not of that are very blessed of God. I'm talking about may not even know God per se, but they're doing great things. They're doing good deeds. They're giving to the poor. I'm talking about giving. And they're doing great things and helping uh, millions of people. And no one really knows who they are. And God rewards them. He said, when you give or when you pray, pray to your father in secret. Close the door. Go to your secret place. You don't have to necessarily be a closet, but if you got a closet, that'll work. Go into that closet. Close the door. Pray to God and in secret. And the God that is in secret, who sees everything, shall reward you openly. So, this is the thing. When God blesses someone and then everybody beholds and they say, wow, man, God has blessed you. God is, oh, God has elevated you. Oh, God has done this for you. But they don't know that you sought the face of God, that you went before the presence of God, that you gave your offerings and your gifts in secret. And the God that, that seeth in secret shall reward you openly. Let's finish this. It says, but when you pray, use not vain repetition, as doth the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be ye not therefore liken unto them. Don't be like the heathens. For your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask it. It's amazing. God tells us to pray, and he, he allows us to be a part of the process of blessing. And when we pray to God, God already know what we need even before we ask it, but he still wants you to pray. I guess you say, hmm, but if God already know, then why do I need to pray? God has allowed us to be a part of the process of the blessing of you receiving. And it, you know, it makes you a part and it gives you the opportunity to sense and know the heart of God for your needs. God loves you so much that he's going to make sure <laughs> that your that your process that you go through that process that you be a part of the blessing that's coming before you oh it makes you feel good to know you pray God heard your prayer answered your prayer and you receive the blessing go in your secret closet pray to your father who seeth in secret and your father that's in secret shall reward you openly I want to ask you a question where is your treasure Father, we thank you for this day. Bless the people that heard this word. Give them confidence in their prayers. This is, once again, this is Dr. W.C. Chambliss. This is the word for today, where your treasure is. We pray God's riches and best be yours in this day. In Jesus' name, amen.